Welcome, and thanks for joining me. In this episode, I'm going to practice how to accurately ream holes in the lathe. So yesterday I went to install the shockproof setting onto my balance bridge of my watch and, and I'd realized that the hole that I reamed was oversized and I wasn't sure why because the reamer should have done an accurate hole and be a nice friction fit really tight for the shockproof setting. So today I'm just going to experiment and practice reaming holes in the lathe and test different conditions and see what the output is. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who uh, reached out to me on YouTube, on Instagram and uh, with the their advice and support. I took it all in and I'm going to test a few of those theories as well and just to see which one comes about uh, the best. It's time to set up the lathe. So here you can see uh, several attempts at different hole sizes and I tried some different methods. So this one here, I tried to um, do exactly what I had done originally, which was um, make the recess, drill the hole, bore it out with the lathe tool and then run the um, lathe at high speed and then feed it quite slowly. That hole is also oversized. Um, again, I just did it with the tailstock with a drill and then I went really slow with the um, reamer at a high speed. I don't know if I caught it on video. When I go back to edit it, if it's there, I'll, I'll chuck it in. Um, but that was to test the um, tailstock alignment and this hole was also oversized. This hole I had um, just drilled and I, I had the slowest uh, spindle speed and I fed it and I fed the reamer really fast and the reamer was still choked up. Like um, when I mean choked up, here's the reamer. I had it all the way in the collet 
um, just a little bit of the shank exposed and the fit was uh, a tight on, on this hole here. So then what I did, I made a recess exactly the same as this, which is the one in the um, uh, balance bridge. I actually released some of the shank of the reamer so it can float to find the center and you could see it move as I was putting it into the hole and the fit on the lathe, I think I got it on video, I pressed it in, it's really, it's really tight. So it needs a, a quite a bit of force to push that out. I'll just show you the other hole right now. So this one was the, the first hole that I did. As you can see, it's loose in there. It would just fall out. But on the this hole, look, even after being forced out, it gets pressed in really nicely. So I did get into the workshop a little late today, but I've had some really good results early on, which I'm glad about. So I didn't have to spend the rest of the week trying to figure this out. I'm really happy with the results. I actually, I got a good result on this reamed hole. And then also, and I just wanted to go a bit deep and, and create the recess around um, the hole just to make sure that everything's going to be pretty smooth when I remake the balance bridge. Thank you for everyone for all your your comments and your advice and support. It really helped. You know, I just had an Instagram a conversation with somebody who's made me aware of just like the temperature differences of in, in brass when machining. And that's something that I've never really thought about during the machining process and, and how that affects the tolerances. I know it seems like a pretty straightforward thing uh, right now, when he was telling me, I was, I thought this is like common sense. Why didn't I even think about this before? Um, so thank you. Thank you. It's something that I'm definitely going to have in mind and, and work on with the next iteration of the prototype. Speaking about the prototype, um, just before I do make the balance bridge, however, I think, I think I'm getting really close. I think I'm getting really close with this prototype in nutting out a little uh, issues and, and manufacturing processes where I can just make more than one in a reasonable time frame. So that's why I've got like the D-bit tool and I'm trying to ream the hole. I wanna try to go back and also ream the jewel holes for all the wheels. Something I've been thinking about for months and months and it's it's just, it keeps um, lurking its head is the, the way I'm, I'm gluing like the main plate onto the brass and I have to dissolve it in acetone. And, you know, I don't want to keep doing that. And I want to make a fixture and, and like a drilling jig where I can try to speed up the process of drilling the alignment holes and the screw holes. And then have a jig on the lathe where I can align the main plate without causing damage to it or gluing it to the material. And the, the thing I have in my head, I think is not going to take too long and something that I might want to get down pat before um, continuing with the balance bridge. And I don't think like gluing something to one piece of brass and then working on that brass is the best method if I want to make a few of, of, of the same uh, pieces. So I think um, that's the direction I'm gonna move.